My name is Howard Berry. I'm the father of the late Staff Sergeant Joshua Berry. My son died of wounds that were sustained during the first Ford Hood shooting. You won't find Josh listed among the killed or the wounded. He didn't exist. The Army forgot about him. It's 2016 approaches and we get ready to elect our, our, our next leader, uh, someone that's going to take us into the next four years. Uh, I, I've got a lot of questions. There's an awful lot of people that feel that they have what it takes to be our next commander-in-chief. And I've decided to reach out to each and every candidate and ask them some questions, things that are near and dear to my heart. These questions are for Senator Marco Rubio. Senator Rubio, do you think that the first Ford Hood shooting was handled correctly? Do you think that the classification of a, a random act of violence in the workplace or the fact that it was later amended to a case of violent homegrown extremism, do you think that gave any closure to the to the families of the men and women that were for lives were forever changed that day? I think it was terrible. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on that, sir. I'd also like to know what your thoughts are on veteran suicide. Currently, 23 men and women are completing suicide every day. I can know what your thoughts are on that because my son became a member of that club on February the 13th of 2013. Josh died waiting for help that never came. We're better people than this. What are your thoughts on that? Is 22 acceptable? Is this something that you would lose sleep over? I know I did. I think one is too many. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on the VA, sir. Do you think that the VA is a broken agency that needs to be scrapped, or do you think that they're, they may be able to turn this thing around? I don't understand why Congress continues to fund them. Uh, so many men and women are, 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 are dying and suffering needlessly, waiting for appointments or benefits or, or, or just to get the care, the care that they need. And I don't understand. We're better people than this. What are your thoughts on that? Where do you think veterans need to be in the pecking order? Do you think that they should be where they currently are, at the bottom of the heap? Or do you think that they should be moved a little closer to the top? After all, didn't a lot of these folks say they volunteered to defend our freedom? They, they deployed multiple times. Uh, they pretty much wrote a blank check. And a lot of them are, a lot of them are cashing that thing out after, after they have come home. Uh, I think that they should be up front. They should be before all others. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on that, sir. They, they deserve the good jobs. They deserve uh, whatever we can do. Whatever we can do. They should be first. I really would. I like to. I think this is a very debatable, very debatable topic, the, the issues that confront veterans today. And I honestly think that this is something that should be put forward in front of the American people. I know that dead vets don't vote, but I do know that their families do. I do know that the survivors do. I do know that their friends do. And those patriotic enough to wave the flag, a lot of those folks do too. There's an awful lot of empty chairs and an awful lot of tables in this country today. And I just, I want to know what your thoughts are. Uh, I'd like to see a commander-in-chief that actually does what needs to be done. Uh, support the vet. Support the military. Uh, if you're not going to do that, then you don't think it's that important, and, and let us know. You know, we'll, we'll, we deserve we deserve the truth before we before we vote. And I'm reaching out to each and every candidate, so I'd like to know what your thoughts are. God bless. I miss my son.